contents are spread out everywhere. Do you want to show the people your food and water bowl? Baby boy is running around free right now, so we're quick to do our best to stay on task. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenna. If you're new here, I am so excited to take you along for probably a two day vlog focusing on some spring cleaning. So we just passed daylight savings time. And so it's starting to feel a little bit more like spring. We're still in the cold weather here in Northern Nevada, but we're inching towards it. I feel it in the air, so we are going to kick off the spring season with some spring cleaning. There are four projects I wanna to get to in this video, two today and then two tomorrow. I'm actually heading out of town this week for a work trip to Chicago, so I'm hoping to get some of this stuff done before I go, and that'll give me a little peace of mind knowing that the house was left in really good condition as well. So I'm gonna show you what those four projects are. Okay, project number one is the fridge. Kind of the outside, yes, I want to clean up some of the magnets just a little bit, but the fridge needs a thorough cleaning out. A lot of this is leftovers that have gone bad, um, some bread that needs to be frozen, just some things that need to be condensed. And so I really just wanna go through the fridge, give it a deep clean, clean all of the shelves, clean all of the drawers, just really thoroughly clean the fridge, get rid of anything that might be expired and make sure there's only good food in here. Project number two is the pantry. I wanna do the same thing with our food in here because it's become kind of a mess, but I also had the pantry really well organized and it's kind of slipped from that organization. So I just want to refresh that organization, get everything back in its bins, condense things, move stuff around, and specifically really work on this food section as well. And so we're gonna work on the pantry. Okay, so the fourth project is in the office. I do kind of want to tidy up the whole area in general. It is a bit chaotic. I wanna specifically put this thing and mount it up here. Eventually, I think I wanna put a whiteboard, this whiteboard here on this wall. Don't know if we're gonna do that in the next two days because we may put that in the dining room. But long story short, with this, what I really wanna to get to are these two drawers. They are a bit of a nightmare. <laughs> They're an absolute explosion. They've been like this since we moved in. It was kind of chaotic when we moved in because we had a couple days to do it. And these drawers have just been a nightmare ever since. And so I've really been wanting to get to these drawers. So that is project number three is to deep clean and organize these two drawers. Okay, project number four is in our closet. So right now it is an absolute mess, but these shelves have been really hard for us ever since we moved in. It looks like the original owners had the shelves originally, they were they came out to here, but then they actually shrink them back so that you could see the clothes better, I'm thinking. And I was trying to figure out, maybe they use them for shoes because they're like the perfect shoe length. And so I've just been struggling with storage up here. I don't know what to put up here. They're too short to put in most bins or storage bins that we have. And so I just wanna figure out this space, maybe potentially put shoes up there and just take all of our shoe racks, put it up here and then move all the stuff in bins down below. So we'll see. I just kind of wanna figure this out and just deep clean and reorganize the top of this closet right here. Okay, so those are the four projects that I want to work on within the next two days. I'm gonna focus on two per day. So we're gonna start first with the fridge. Right now I have baby boy in the kitchen with me. He's eating a fig bar and so I'm going to hopefully keep him happy with some snacks and water. He's an expressive eater, he does this every time. But with some snacks and water, he'll probably be right here while I work on the fridges organization. Where is it? Right here. <laughs> so we're gonna work on that right now. We'll see how far we can get before my husband gets home shortly from the gym and we'll have dinner. I'm hoping to get it all done before he comes home. Yeah. 
have enough Chick-fil-A sauces. <laughs> I know I can't throw these away because my husband will notice. Are we gonna show the people our clean fridge? You want up? You want up? No. Are you hungry? Okay, I just got done. This is what our fridge looks like with only edible food in it. Gotta love it. <laughs> I don't know if you can see the difference, but I definitely feel the difference. I have all of our dairy stuff here, random drinks here. I have, we ended up buying way too many eggs. So this is fully our egg shelf right now. All of this is organized so that I can see everything. Roughly it's kind of like olives, pickles, dairy kind of <laughs> ingredients here and then salsas. And then we have our little butter shelf, our dressings and condiments, our hot sauces, our cheese drawer, and then our meat drawer. And then we have our produce drawer down here and all of my husband's energy drinks. But everything feels so good. All of the expired food was tossed. There wasn't too much of it. A lot of it was actually just condensing condensing produce you know two different onions were in two different bags so just put that together into one bag and then some leftovers were old so just toss those but all in all didn't get rid of that much just really condensed it and cleaned it but it feels so nice to have this fully done and have a fully clean and edible fridge now Okay, I'm in the pantry. It is past dinner. It's actually getting close to bedtime, but I wanted to follow up and do the pantry tonight. And so I'm just going to mostly go through the food because that was the main thing that needed doing. There are some things just on the left-hand side, like there's supposed to be a baking shelf that can be slightly organized. So I'm going to touch that just a little bit, but it shouldn't be too bad. I'm just going to go through and just reorganize and shift around these shelves just a little bit. So I will show you the before and the after. All right, here is what we're working with for the before. And this is the after. So as you can see, I didn't do anything drastically different. I just tidied up what was already on these shelves because I did a full overhaul of the pantry a little bit ago. This is still our baking shelf. I moved some of the cluttery bins a little further back and moved some of the ingredients into this overflow bin right here. And then this is kind of our extra cooking supplies like choppers or a sous vide or drainers, that kind of thing, stuff that won't fit in drawers very easily. I just tidied that up, moved it back, vacuumed and cleaned the floor. I cleaned off some of these appliances and wipe this down. I organized this and what was behind this just a little bit because this is pumping supplies and kind of baby supplies. So I just tidied that a little bit and then I got rid of some of the things that were back there that were causing clutter. That I pretty much just straightened and pulled forward. This I just did the same thing where I straightened things around and pulled them forward. This is uh, Kevin's treats and things. This I newly labeled as, so we had this label on here before the grab and go snacks, but then I clarified snacks and sweets and I put some of our chocolates and candies in here. So just changed that around slightly. Went through all of this, tossed any old food, mostly like just got rid of things that could like toss this box because we only had a teeny tiny bit of Cheerios left in there. In there. So we have cereals, grains, nuts, 
canned food, snacks, breads. And then here we have crackers, chips. We have soups back there as well as rice and noodles and potatoes. So that's kind of the rough organization of the pantry. Nothing too crazy fancy. This is Kevin's section with all of his toys here and his grooming supplies, his go bag, his food and his water. Do you wanna show the people your food and water bowl? It's very nice. <laughs> and then our trash bags are right here, which is very handy right next to the trash can. So this is what the pantry looks like. Really happy with it. Just did a quick little spruce and clean up and food toss. And so it feels so much better in here. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. Yeah, you're a good boy. All right, so I'm just about tapped out for the night. Organizational projects always take so much longer than you think. I'm like, oh, this will just be real quick. I'm just gonna like pull out the food, wipe down the counters, put back the food. It'll probably take like 15 minutes. 45 minutes later, I am ready to <laughs> go to sleep for the night. So I will check in tomorrow when we tackle those office drawers in the closet. But for now, I will see you then. Hi friends, welcome now to Tuesday. I am so ready to get to these two organization projects. We are for first going to work in the office and get to these two desk drawers that are an absolute explosion. And then we're going to get to the closet, not the clothes, but specifically the storage that is above the clothing in the awkward shelves that I showed you yesterday. So we're going to try to piece those two things together, starting first with the office. Baby boy is running around free right now. So we're going to do our best to stay on task, but I am sure we're going to bounce around with this one a little bit. So this is what we're working with. We're just gonna tidy this desk right here. I'm going to hang this picture on the wall right here and then just clean the top of it. And then we're gonna get to these two drawers. But first I kind of want to make sure that this whole space is clean and ready to go. So I'm going to work on clearing this off and putting some of these things away and we're gonna start there. dust but I've been trying to make my own cleaner for a little bit but I haven't known where to start like I've just intended to make it and then just thought oh I'll just use up the stuff I have but I really don't want to use the toxic products I have very much longer so what I did is I put a teaspoon of baking soda and then 10 drips of lemon essential oil into this I think what this is missing is maybe vinegar. I think if you add vinegar, those three can be a good combination, but I'm gonna see if water, baking soda, and lemon essential oil works well just for like a dusting agent. What I get stuck on is something to clean mirrors without leaving smudges. That I'm not too sure on how to do that effectively, but we're gonna start first with just surfaces because I feel like that's the easiest transition to make. So we'll see if this works. We're a little over halfway through. Both of these drawers are completely empty now. The contents are spread out everywhere. So it's just a lot of like nitty gritty organization, but I think we're probably like 60% of the way through. I'm feeling hopeful. Okay, we have just finished this project. I love that this is finally up on the wall. The space looks so much cleaner just initially coming in, um, just organizing and cleaning this top portion. But let me show you where the big bulk of the projects were. 
this whole trash can was filled and this doesn't even do it justice how much I just went through because these drawers, you saw the before, were absolutely overflowing with documents. And so this is what this first guy looks like now. Much more organized, still some work to do. I need some organization tools for this kind of things this size or even larger that can hold some of this miscellaneous like knickknack situations from scissors, staplers, but way easier to access. I will daily use these headphones and these notepads for work. And then this lower one houses all of our previous and overflow of laptops. And then I found and opened some mail that had some important to do's, which is in this manila envelope right here. And so this will be something that we can access as an important to do's document on the top there. So that's a lot more accessible, so much more organized than what that used to be. And then these two drawers, I wasn't actually planning on getting to because they weren't terrible. But when I went through these, I found I had to go through these. So I think that's what you find when you organize is that you just have to go through even more <laughs> when you're organizing. And so I've condensed these down to wires that I actively use, some um, pens, notebooks, calculator, all this stuff that I would use on a daily basis while working. And then this is kind of those smaller things from post-its to letter openers to tape, flash drives, etc. So that's all there and organized nicely in this drawer. All right, friends, I know that I said that we were going to get to the closet right after doing this, but to be honest, this took way longer than I expected it to take. I think all I need for that is to get some better storage solutions. Like I don't think I can make much headway on it anyways right now because I think I need to get those storage solutions that are a little bit more shallow first. And I also need to decide what I'm going to put up there fully. If I want to do shoes up there, I don't think that I do. I just have to do some thinking when it comes to that organization because for the rest of tonight, I need to get to packing. I am going out of town tomorrow for a work trip. So I'm going to fly to Chicago tomorrow. My flight is at noon. I just want to thank you so much for watching this video. It means so, so much to me that you did. If you liked it, please remember to to give it a little thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel for content that might be similar to this in the future. And I cannot wait to see you in the next video. Bye friends.